Morning folks, I slept really well. It was a superb little camp spot. Um, the wind picked up a little bit during the night. I could hear the waves sort of crashing onto that little bit of um, that little bit of shore that we were camped on. But what a spot, it was just perfect. You know, being able to have a fire and, um, and keep those midges away, cook up some good food and just enjoy the evening amongst great company. Yeah, I've uh, packed up. I'm kind of all ready to load everything back into the boat. Um, everybody else is just getting all their, their stuff squared away and we're hoping to get on, on the water by about nine o'clock this morning. I've got my rubbish. Um, I've just bagged it up. I'm going to take it with me. There are bins um, available at various sort of locations along the route. So um, at the next bin spot, I'll, um, I'll dump my rubbish. A fantastic spot. I'd like to come back here and perhaps spend a little bit more time um, on this little sand spur. Absolutely gorgeous. Got all this thick pine forest um, right behind the shore. Quite steep sided, but lots of firewood and just absolutely stunning. Yeah, love it. Good to be back underway again. We're buzzing along with a nice little tailwind. There's a, just a slight little chop to the to the water, which is nice. There's a little bit of sunshine that keeps just popping through the clouds and just sending lovely colour onto the onto the hills as we paddle past. Absolutely gorgeous. A little short portage just at the end of the lock there. Um, a bit awkward to get onto this pontoon that we're on where, where you have to get back in the water because it's, it's tight and narrow and you can't really get a canoe around it which is odd considering it's designed for the canoe trail <laughs> but there you go 
we're um, yeah, going to get back on the, on the water. We've got a, a short section of canal now, a couple of miles I think, and then we're on to the next lock. Hi, yeah. Hi. Hello. Hello. We've uh, just stopped for a, a little break and a bit of lunch at the Well of the Seven Heads. Fantastic name. <laughs> it's a little, um, a little sort of like cafe and shop. Just as you get into the, the lock here. Um, yeah, just having um, some fish. I wasn't going to cook anything up. A couple of the lads are getting um, bacon rolls and stuff, but a bit of fish will do me. And a coffee from the cafe. We uh, had to suddenly leap into action there. <laughs> we were sitting down uh, just uh, having a bite to eat and we saw another group who, who are kind of just behind us, just starting to head past us <laughs> on the other side of the lock. And we're desperate to get a particular campsite tonight. So um, we've all just jumped in our canoes and paddled like fury to get ahead of them. <laughs> it's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, just pulled over to have a look at a potential camp spot there on a little uh, sort of spit of land that jutted out into the lock but it wasn't ideal it was a bit tight um, for all of us to get our tents and things on there so we're gonna head along a little bit further and see if we can find a better spot but while we're here we're just crossing over the lock to have a look at a, a shipwreck 
which uh, lies directly opposite that, that little spur. The ship was called the Ela Barn, and it was a, a kind of pleasure cruiser, really. Um, and I was told about it by a guy called Lee who got in touch with me. Um, he met his wife on that ship when it was still, you know, trundling up and down the, the canal here and the locks here. And then sadly it was, it was wrecked and uh, it was just too difficult and too expensive to recover. And it's just sat there ever since, sticking up out of the water. Quite a haunting sight. And then just above it there, you've got the ruins of Invergari Castle. What's it like? That's me set up for the night. Exactly the same as last night. Plenty of room in here for me and for my camera gear and stuff. I don't want to be outside. And the beauty about this tent is the size of that porch there. That's huge. I can get all of my gear in there. The barrels I'll just leave outside because they're, you know, they're weatherproof. Got my socks drying and I've got my cup primed and ready for a brew.
beauty. Yeah. Should be away then, eh? Sticking another one in, it's we've got plenty of scram. It's rude not to, wouldn't it? Yeah. Then? Still got a few first aid kits about, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. A bit low on supply, but. <laughs> Ten fingers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dozens a while back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we've got a bit of light still. I thought I'd show you on the map uh, where we've been and where we are now. So this is where we started at Benavi, and this is that long canal section that we did uh, yesterday, coming all the way up here. And then we had the locks just here, uh, where we got out and had some lunch. And then we came into the into the lock here, and I got my sail up. So I sailed for a little bit here. Uh, some of the Lads did a bit of fishing around here. There's a there's a fish farm just around here somewhere. And this is about where it started to really hoss it down with rain, that really heavy rain. Um, so yeah, we carried on up the lock here. And we camped last night just on that little spur, just there opposite Letter Finlay Lodge. So that was last night's camp. And then today we finished this section of Loch Locky. Um, this is where I had my sail out again. We went around that little spur there and up to the uh, the get out point, which was just there at the end of the lock. And then this was that beautiful section of quiet canal here, um, all tree lined and absolutely stunning. Just in this section here is where we stopped. That's where that little shop was at the head of the seven, head of the seven, something or others, I can't remember. Um, and then we came around here and we are just about here right now on that little point just there. And then right opposite us is the castle and the shipwreck. start getting my dinner ready I've just got a potato here and an onion which I'm gonna fry up and I've got some Polish sausage and then I went for a walk earlier on real bonus came across this little Belitus mushroom here I think it's a birch Belitus so I'm gonna give that a whirl um, you know I'm not an I'm not a fungi expert at all <clears throat> I'm just um, hoping this one won't kill me, but you know, if you're unsure, just um, you know, you're better off just leaving them out. There's hardly any calorific value in a mushroom anyway, to be honest. Um, but unless you're absolutely certain, you know, just skip it. Yeah, it keeps turning, though. Yeah. Look at the move, because it'll move and it'll move over, yeah. yeah. I think it falls if you move, doesn't it? So. Yes, sir. Uh, no. uh, 
I haven't done very much filming this evening. Um, you know, we've just been sort of sitting around the fire and, and chatting. It's not so easy to film when there's a big, big group of us. Um, but we did have a, a little um, catapult competition earlier, which was quite good fun. Set a can up in a tree and um, all took it in turns to, to fire um, little clay um, little clay balls at the uh, at the target. That was that was a bit of fun. Yeah, it's good. It's been a fantastic day today. Um, quite a mixture. You know, we uh, got to the end of Loch Lochy, um, got the sail up again, which was lovely, buzzing along, just loving that sail. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a bit of a tough portage at the end of the the lock there. Um, we had to sort of drag the boats up a, up a hill and then getting back down to the pontoon to get back in the canal was a bit tricky. Um, but that was all right, we stopped there and had a bit of lunch. Lovely bit of canal, that was absolutely gorgeous. Tree lined, just uh, calm, completely different to out on the lock. And then we've come into Loch Hoik where we are now. And uh, it's very different, you know, it's much narrower. Um, yeah, much more sort of intimate really and uh, where we're camped is, is just a lovely, lovely little spot. It's quite breezy, so we've, we've had the wind blowing through. It's been keeping the midges at bay, which is excellent, and um, just nice and, and lots of broadleaf trees around, really just beautiful. And right opposite, we've got that shipwreck, which we went and had a look at earlier on, and the castle above it. So absolutely stunning, yeah. Looking forward to tomorrow. We're gonna get to the end of uh, Loch Oik, and then we're gonna get into, into the river. The plan is to pa paddle down um, the River Oik to Loch Ness at uh, Fort Augustus. And that's uh, a, a whitewater river, it's grade one, grade two, so it's nothing too too bad, nothing too difficult hopefully. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm from Norfolk, so um, whitewater is uh, uncharted territory for me really. But um, I'm looking forward to it, it's gonna be fun. We're, I'm gonna be in safe hands, we've got a, um, a few of the lads who are uh, very experienced whitewater paddlers, so um, you know, we'll, we'll, with their help and guidance, it should all be good. Yeah, really looking forward to it. But um, I'm gonna go and get my head down now, get some sleep, and um, look forward to another day tomorrow. Good night.